If your build process takes longer than the time it takes to go make a cheeky cup of tea, then you know how frustrating it can be. As developers, you just want to get back to your zen-like state of coding bliss. But slow builds put the brakes on your ability to deliver more features. When the only feedback you get from the build process is its status and duration, how can you even begin to think about how to optimize it? Well, if you use Gradle to build Java code, you're in luck. There's a way to profile your build process to get key insights into what's going on internally, a bit like debugging or JVM profiling. If you haven't heard of build profiling, that's not surprising because like many Gradle features, it's hidden under your nose and disabled by default, but can be easily switched on. In this video, you'll see how to set up build profiling for your project and how to use the generated report to diagnose the most common build issues faced by Java developers. To keep this demo realistic, we'll profile a popular open source tool on GitHub called Wiremock. It's an API mocking tool that makes integration testing easier, but what it does isn't important. What's important is that we can build it with Gradle and then profile it and you can apply the same steps to your own projects. Right now, running the test task takes three minutes, 54 seconds. Too long for my liking. So what can we do? After resetting the project with the clean test task, run test again and pass the dash dash scan option to enable the build scan feature. This runs Gradle in the same way, but at the end, it sends diagnostic data to Gradle servers so you can browse the build scan report. Accept Gradle's terms and conditions to get access to the build scan. If this raises a security red flag for you, I'll share a totally private option later in the video. Click the link in the terminal and enter an email to access the report. There's a lot to see here. Under each option on the left are enough diagnostics to make a data scientist cream himself. So I'll show you the three most useful reports I use to diagnose build performance issues. Right here on the home page, you see the build duration with a breakdown of individual tasks. In this case, the test task took the longest, which gives a clearer idea where to focus optimization effort. Under timeline, you see a visualization of the whole build process. In this case, because the test task took so long, we have to zoom in to see the other tasks. Below is a list of tasks, and you can hit this button to get super detailed diagnostics about the task execution, like what Java version was used. Finally, go to tests to see info on test classes and their individual tests. Click slowest tests to see tests ordered by duration, which in this case reveals a handful of really slow tests with the rest taking less than a second. I'll share some ideas on how best to optimize this at the end. The great thing about build scans is that you can easily share the link with colleagues so they can help you look for possible improvements. The downside is that even though the link contains a random string that even your favorite AI tool couldn't guess, that URL is still public. And of course, to publish and view a build scan, you have to actually send data to Gradle's servers. If that makes you nervous, then here's another option. Run the same Gradle task with dash dash profile to generate a locally viewable report. It's nowhere near as detailed as build scan, but it might give you just enough information to overcome that hurdle you're facing. If you're suffering from slow tests like this build scan shows us, you have two options. Either invest lots of time in figuring out how to make individual tests faster by changing test code, or configure the environment in which tests run to make them execute faster without any code changes. The second option is definitely the easiest and you'll be surprised how much time you save with even just a few lines of build script config. So watch this video next where you'll learn how I halve the time it takes to run unit tests in one project with just a four line change.